doing a thrift star haul. Looking like a princess. <laughs> the reason why I'm dressed like this is because I'm having my 1 million subscribers celebration with my family tonight. So I'm literally dressed all extra in sparkles and a tiara because I'm having a celebration. Literally cake, balloons. <laughs> I take it seriously because I really love doing YouTube. So that's kind of why, that's why I look like this. And you know, it got me thinking. I hit million, 1 million subscribers. I was going back and looking at my old videos. And when I very first started YouTube, I started like we're doing hauls. I love hauls. You guys love watching hauls. And I used to do thrift stores probably like w at least once a month. Like I was doing tons of thrift store hauls because I worked at the thrift store. And then I slowly started not doing them because I wasn't, you know, working there and I didn't go there that often. And I hear a lot of, you know, fans of others saying that other YouTubers, you know, lose what got them where they are. And some people have said it to me too, you know, you've changed as a lot of people say to YouTubers that grow because, you know, you start YouTube and sometimes you can lose sight of what you used to do. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the thrift store. And when I went, I only found like two things I liked. So I went back a couple more times and it just brought back Brock, Brock, <laughs> Brock, girl who's Brock. Shout out to Brock. It brought back my love for thrift stores and giving back to charity. I donate a lot to thrift stores, but even when you purchase some thrift stores will donate um, a sum of money to their nonprofit organizations. You know, it's just, it's just good, okay? And you can find some things that that, you know, maybe other people don't like, but you would like. And before I get started, I just want to shout out Whitfield Chelsea on Instagram. She follows me and commented, so thank you so much. And I did wash all these items beforehand. I do suggest doing that because you don't know where they came from. And the thrift stores in my city do not wash the items, so it is good just to wash them. Just because you know you never know. And I went to three separate thrift stores. Two of them were Valley Village, and one of them was Plato's Closet. Okay, the first thing. Honestly, I feel like trunk in my dryer and I looked and it doesn't say you can't dry it. So I don't know, it said tumble dry low and I did that and I really feel like it shrunk. Like <laughs> I could still make it work. It would just be like a little shorter shirt, but it did not look like this when it went in. So it's just this like love shirt. It's very soft and nice. It smells nicely, freshly cleaned and washed. And because I washed them, I took all the prices off, but this one was $4.99, five bucks for this cute little top. And the brand name is George. So I'm pretty sure, isn't that Walmart? Hey girl, we don't discriminate about brands. This dress is so cute. So this dress is a very simple high dress. Looks like this. It honestly might be too tight on me. I didn't try it on. It's a double zero. Girl, I might not even be able to get this on. It might look like kind of lumpy everywhere, but it was too cute. Like I couldn't choose the size, you know? When you go to a thrift store, it's like, Oh my God, they smell so nice and clean. You can't necessarily be like, oh, I'll take that in a size six. Like you, you can't. <laughs> the brand is Sunday Best. The tag on it looked all legit and classy and everything. I don't know, the material in this is stretchy. It's very nice. Um, it hits at a good length. This is like a very classy, nice dress. I just hope to greatness it fits. What hope to greatness? <laughs> Well, this one here was from Plato's Closet. It was $14, but it was 50% off. So I only got this cute dress for $7. And this would look so cute dressed up, like I'm dead. Okay, so this dress. <laughs> so tiny. Like a couple sizes up, it would have been cute. Like maybe a one or a two. Not a double zero, like girl. <clears throat> I feel like it fits me here nicely, but the sleeves, like here, it's like cutting off my circulation. Like I probably could rock this if I was only wanting to wear it for like literally an hour. <laughs> it's cute though, it's so nice and stretchy, but it's like just in the arms. Okay, so I have four items. We'll just do those ones right now that were all hang to dry or lay flat, flat to dry. I wasn't allowed to put them in the dryer. So these ones are slightly a little bit wet. They have been drying for about an hour, an hour and a half, but they are just slightly. But this one here is a guess zippy. So the top of it here, it has a little kiss there and the sleeves are very like wooly and it has this here like little sock print. <laughs> and on the back, it has a giant lipstick and it says guest there. And the thing is, I didn't notice until right now, the zipper here still has the plastic on it. So I feel like this is brand new, just the tags taken off of it because that's still there. So I thought this was cute. Like guess it's adorable and how much? This was $14.99, so 15 bucks for a, like a pretty much a brand new guest sweater. I thought that was a score. The next thing that is wet, I also found this cute bodycon dress and it's like knit, gorgeous. I love the color. Again, this is an extra, extra small. I don't choose the sizes. They don't have an extra small section in 
um, my thrift store, it's just small, medium, large, extra large. So like the XXLs will just go into extra large and the extra smalls and the XX smalls will be in the smalls. But I honestly just saw this and saw that it was guest and gorgeous. So I scooped this up as well. And this one was $19.99. I really like this dress. I hope it fits. I hope it looks good because this dress is so freaking cute. And the pink on here is amazing. The next thing that's wet, this one is the last thing I got from Plato's Closet. It was $7. There was just something about this that was like real going to the lake vibes like just throwing this over your bikini and chilling by the dock I love this I thought it was so cute it has a little hood and the sleeves are nice and like baggy the whole thing is just really nice and comforting to me like with some white jeans even if you weren't gonna go chill by the bay where the watermelons grow <laughs> this was La Blanca that's the brand of it and it is a US extra small but it is like very flowy and baggy so I like how this looks with the little strings there you never know what you can find at the thrift store and the last wet thing this one here I got at Value Village all the rest are at Value Village by the way and this was seven dollars and 49 cents it's just like a nice gray cardigan and this is Ellen Tracy Tracy and it says a hundred extra fine merino wool but this is adorable it's nice and soft even though it is still drying i really liked how this fit and how it looked on by the way when i'm trying them on for you guys they're not wet because it's the next day i'll try them on anyway this here was 3.99 there is as you guys can see a button missing so either i'm just gonna have to, have to rock it with no button take off all the buttons and replace them or find a button that'll match but it's this adorable little schoolgirl skirt i think this is gonna be so cute in the summer or maybe with like a white bodysuit. This is the garage and it is a size one. It's so cute, like I love this. It looked pretty new too, so that's why I got it. Oh, the pleating is a little weird there. Anyway, so I just realized this when I was trying it on, but they're shorts under here. Yes! Okay, then I got a granny sweater that my mom was like, what are you doing? And I really liked it. So it looks like this. It would just be cute just to throw on and chill, you know? The brand is VIP, VI Petites. I'm not sure, it's a size six and it says Sears six. 649, I think it's cute because that's the lottery here. So it's like I've won the lottery when I buy it, when I'm wearing this sweater. <laughs> I just liked it. I like the colors in it. I like how it's like very pastel-y and pinky. I liked it. Okay. This was another really cute dress. $12.99 for this. And this dress is so cute for the summer. And it has these little um, sides here where you can just like peekaboo and look in. I see you. It's a little frayed here. I can cut that. But I just thought this was so nice and just flowy and cute for the summer. Like just with some flip-flops, go and go run some errands or go look at the yellow. Elephants, you know, hi. <laughs> Me. Okay, my favorite, favorite item that I got was this. This is like literally, I would see this on Fashion Nova, I bet. Like this is so cute. So this was only $5.99. It does not have a brand. Yes, it does. The brand is together. This is the back. So it's like a jackety sweater and the back is all like crossed. It has a hood, the pink is gorgeous. It isn't that soft, but it's still cute. So it has these button ups that you can just like, yeah, button up all the way there. I just really, I fell in love with this. I really liked it and it has little pockets here as well. Maybe it'll do more justice when it's on there, but I like this. It's different, the material kind of sucks, but hey, we're still there for it. And the very last clothing item, cause I did get some jewelry, was this little just basic um, white moment for $4.99. It's long sleeve, has a hood, and the brand is G21, so Target? Is that Target? I don't know, it's like some game we're playing here, but it's cute, it's nice. Before I get to the jewelry, I just wanna show this. So there are like things that you can buy in the showcase at Value Village, things that are tucked away that are a little bit more pricey or maybe smaller items that people could just take and steal. So you actually have to get them written up to buy them because they're like locked away. And I don't know what about this I loved so much. Maybe it is because my granny always told me about way back when she used to smoke cigarettes, but like in a classy way, she used to say and they were gorgeous cigarettes you got them in a little case and they were different colors now I don't know if these ones are those ones I don't know if they were different colors you know what I mean but just this just reminded me of that and she's like they were just real glamorous and it's not like how smoking is now and she was just telling me all about them and I saw this old school collector's case and I just had to have it it says sweet caporal cigarettes and it's 
go. Kinney, Kinney Bruce, a uh, girl. And it has like the little colors on here. So it just really reminded me of my granny and it was so like vintagey. I feel like this would be so cute to just, it says on here, the purest form in which tobacco can be smoked. There was something about this vintage thing that I really took to it. So I think I could fill, fill this with like little rings, earrings, something like that just on my vanity. Just have this little vintage cigarette case. I really liked it. Some people might say it's tacky, but I had a little thing for it. This was $14.99. There was two of them. One was in really beat up shape and it was like five bucks, but I just liked how this looked. I worked at Valley Village for quite a while, so I saw a lot of vintagey things and that just like brought it back for me. Okay, then I got two little rings. This first one, I have a lot of these, but this one was just so sparkly. It was only $2.99 and it fit me. And it just is this cute little pink sparkly bow. I feel like the ones I have are like real tacky and big. And this one was just like smaller and the sparkles on here were gorgeous. And I think that it's cute. I always used to wear things like this and I got um, like criticized for it and bullied and been like, oh, you're so tacky. And it really shied me away from it. I did a video a while back, like explaining like who cares what you wear. If you like something, wear it and don't lose your dinosaur. It's cute, it's cute and it's me. And then I saw this and it was only $1.99 and it's size four and that's pretty much my ring size. And this is so dainty and nice. I just fell in love with this. Like this is beautiful. It almost looks like there's like a little princess crown on top of it and it's just like cute, like for two bucks, like what? Mm. Okay, last but not least, I found a Betsy Johnson bracelet and it was $14.99 and it comes with like the Betsy Johnson case. I'm probably just gonna throw this away, but the bracelet is totally me. It has all these charms on there, like pearls all the way around. It's stretchy. It has a sparkly monkey, Betsy Johnson, bows, little leaves, and it's, yeah, it's just so cute. So I had to get that. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do enjoy thrift store hauls, let me know and I will collect things to do it for next time. If you guys are like, nah, we don't like thrift store hauls, then let me know as well, just so I can know. So I'm not doing something you guys don't like. And I love you guys all. Remember to try new things, shop new places. You never know what you're gonna find. There's no shame in shopping at a thrift store. It's actually a really fun experience. So it's like almost like a treasure hunt. You never know what you're gonna find. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!